David with DFW Gun Cleaning. Back today with an update on the VZ58 from Check Small Arms. Not a whole whole lot to say about this gun other than I absolutely love it. It's a uh, very quick reacting, handles very familiar to an AK-47, and even though the design is totally different, being the short stroke, it does seem that the recoil impulse is a little bit better on this one. Uh, definitely quick with the follow-up shots. I'm really liking it so far. Just about 100 rounds through it so far. Uh, barely broken in, but it has been flawless. The fit and finish is just amazing on the rifle itself, on the receiver barrel and the uh, bolt group, as well as the cover here. The fit, finish, awesome. Um, I did acquire the Beaver Bar Furniture Set at Surplus off of a gentleman in Canada through a well-known auction website. It was, uh, I want to say right around $150 shipped. Uh, that, that includes the upper handguard, lower handguard, the pistol grip, and the buttstock. And not only that, all of the metal hardware that's attached to that, the little coupling plates located on the pistol grip, buttstock, uh, all of the pin, the uh, gas system cover here, your piston cover, just awesome. The condition is excellent to like new. Uh, just a fair disclaimer, a friend of mine got the exact same set and the one of the hand guards was crushed, it was broken. The seller replaced it, he had it in hand, after about 72 hours, three days, uh, after he emailed the gentleman, the seller, told him what had happened. They sent him a replacement very, very quickly. Easy to deal with. I appreciate that. Uh, the Beaver Bark just looks way cooler on the VZ58. You can't have one of these with the uh, black synthetic stock, in my opinion. I will say that the black synthetic that comes on it is extremely high quality furniture. It's not like what's going to come on a lot of your low end AKs, uh, your Palmettos, your Wassers, things like that. The black polymer furniture on this is very heavy duty, feels akin to some of the Russian sets that I've handled. I would, you know, it's a great set. I like the classic aesthetic of the Beaver Bar. I, you know, it just looks cool to me. Anyways, I will uh, get you some close-ups of the gun. I've got a little bit of range footage. I did get about 40 rounds on the camera. I want to apologize in advance. I've been installing fences all day. Uh, but let's take a look up close, then I'll get you to the range. So here we are again, up close with the Check Small Arms VZ58. This time now equipped with some genuine uh, furniture and hardware you can take note the hardware that came with the furniture does have a gloss gray finish it's really nice uh, finish on that metal is in excellent condition here's the rear coupling the butt plate it did come right here with the gas piston cover and the hardware there's a chance where you can really tell that difference there. We have the kind of a gray enamel finish up top. And then some type of Parker Rising or something here on the VZ58. Once again, that furniture set, excellent condition. Comes with all the internal hardware for the buttstock and the pistol grip. Uh, just really a complete set. It's not very common to find that. Most sellers are getting significantly more for those these days. Um, here we have the Surplus VZ58 magazine. I picked these up from AIM Surplus. I think they're advertised in very good condition. My friend and I split 20 of them. Almost all of them look brand new, like at least 15, 16 of them. Just like this, very good to excellent condition. Many had no wear up on the feed lips. Looked like they really had not been inserted. And then we got a couple that, you know, just had some abrasions on the magazine body, leaving that raw aluminum, but it's all still perfectly functional. Nothing dented. Everything, I would say, at least very good. Most of them excellent. 
And of course we have the polymer CSA magazine that came with the rifle. Got two of those. And function out of both mag types has been flawless. And then I also picked up bayonet off that same auction site. This is the Type 3 scabbard, I believe. And one thing that I find interesting about the PZ-58 is the method of operation for the bayonet lug. By design, you can see the locking channel here. We have our lug. Just drops down out of the way. But you can see it doesn't slide on like that as is traditional. It does come on from the rear of the bayonet lug. I'm gonna try and video that. I'm trying to do it with one hand here. I try and do this with one hand here and record it for you guys. There we go. Oh, locks right into place. So that is the BZ-58 semi-auto import rifle. Let's go uh, check out the range footage. All right, we've got the beaver barf. Got 20 rounds loaded up in the factory translucent magazine. Another 20 rounds of tuna in the surplus mag. All right, we're back from the range. As you can see, this thing is running flawlessly. Got 40 rounds on there for you. I've got about 100 through the gun. Really enjoying it so far. Uh, the bayonet, just cool. It adds to the character. I do like to pick up bayonets for most of the guns that I have uh, where I can afford them. Sometimes other guns get in the way of those bayonet purchases. Uh, some of those things can get really expensive. Fortunately, these are still around for a reasonable cost. Uh, even in the auctions, they can be had for well under $50, including your tax and your shipping and everything, uh, which is nice uh, if you like to collect them in addition to guns like me uh, magazine release is on the left side of the gun only you can't really access it with your right thumb as it is kind of flush with the trigger guard on the left side of the gun however with your right finger or on the right side you can access the bolt hold open to manually hold the bolt open even if the uh, magazine is not empty As you can see, you can remove the magazine with your right hand by reaching under the trigger guard. It's pretty easy. You can also kick it out with the left hand very easily. Yeah, you can also train in to hit that release with the next mag. I'm not very proficient with that. But it's very easy to access it with your support hand. Kick that mag out nicely and reinsert a new one. The bolt, as I've said before, reminds me of the Hakim rifle, uh, the Rashid, the Egyptian service rifles from the 1950s. Uh, this is very similar looking to those. The trigger. Four pounds, 10 ounces. Four pounds, two ounces. Four pounds, eight ounces. So right around four and a half pounds. Uh, kind of already stated, feels like a, a two-stage trigger. You do have a 
take up about an eighth of an inch that you're going to encounter. And extremely light, not, not even a half pound. You pull that in and then you have a fairly short, fairly crisp, surprisingly good trigger. And you know, I was afraid that this thing being made out of polymer, that it may not be super durable. I was also afraid that I was going to get a gritty or long, mushy trigger pull. That has not been the case. It's very short, very crisp. I definitely like it. Not going to be as fast as your single stage AK uh, aftermarket triggers, but it is nice. Uh, not sure if anyone makes an aftermarket trigger for that. I haven't really gone and checked that out. But if you know of an aftermarket trigger for the VZ58, let us know down below in the comments. Guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with your friends. Have a great day.